So we've traveled approximately a thousand kilometers from San Diego to Madeira, Chihuahua, in order to work with Ponatura and work with the thick-billed parrot in its habitat. Pronatura is an NGO in northern Mexico, and they work with many species and many different habitats throughout northern Mexico. We're very proud to be partners together to help conserve the thick-billed parrot. One thing that we, we bring to the table is that we've elevated how the parrot is viewed in the local community. San Diego Zoo Global is here to help understand the threats to the thick-billed parrot. And in particular, we're looking at the potential for diseases to impact the wild populations. So far, we had, don't have any evidence that um, viruses or bacteria have a significant impact on the populations. However, we do know that ectoparasites can cause um, serious mortality in the chicks. And we think that that's going to have an overall effect on populations. In addition to doing a physical exam on each of the chicks, evaluating whether or not they have full crops, looking at their hydration status and vitality, body condition, feather condition, presence or absence of ectoparasites, we take biological samples. And that includes oral swabs, cloacal swabs, and blood sample as well. One of the things that we do with the samples is look to see whether the animal is also healthy on the inside. And one specific thing that we're looking for are viruses or other pathogens that might be sort of introduced and maybe cause a problem for the, for the population. We come year after year and we take swabs and we take blood from these chicks and then we're looking for new pathogens that might be introduced into the population that we might have to do something about. One of the things that we've done on this trip is help to protect the trees against predators. So we added some flashing around the trees so that the carnivores can't climb the trees and raid the nests and take the chicks, which we've experienced early in this trip. We're very lucky we get to stay at some cabins at the base of the mountain and we sort of drive up each day to do the sampling for the parrots. And if you're lucky, in the morning you get to see the, a whole flock of parrots sort of flying over from their nest over to their feeding grounds. And then of course later in the day you'll see the, the opposite, you'll see whole flocks in the air flying back to their nest sites. And that's really nice, it sort of it reminds you that there are still a lot out there, that the work that we're doing is good and it's just great. You know, to see that. It took about 10 years to make the connections and meet the people to be able to come to the field and experience Parrot's natural history on a first-hand basis and it's been an incredible experience. 